Hi toy fans and diecast card collectors, this is Soy Allen here to review a 2018 Matchbox MBX Road Trip Series 70 Plymouth Cuda. And here's what it looks like in the package. Shows the Matchbox logo, 65 anniversary for Matchbox, that's why they show that there. And it has the 70 Plymouth Cuda uh, computer rendered illustration of it. It's 13 of 35. That's the series of it. That's what it looks like in the package. And here's what it looks like on the back. It's from the B case of that 2018 Matchbox um, cars. 70 Plymouth. Other information right there. And some more information. And in the next clip, I'll show you out of the package in a closer view, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And here, as you can see, is a 2018 Matchbox MBX Road Trip Series 70 Plymouth Cuda out of the package. Now, the 70 Plymouth Cuda was first released in 2004 as a Matchbox Super Fast release, and it was released in a silver color. And here's a photo from my personal collection of what that car looked like in the package. Now that you saw a photo of that, I want to show you this version. This is the first time it's been in the mainline release. And this is supposed to be more of like a realistic ride height version of the 70 Plymouth Cuda. Other diecast companies have made this, but this is the first time it's been in the mainline. It has like a shaker hood. It has a lot of nice detail in the grill. The first release had this chrome, so it would have been cool if this was chrome. That's what it looks like on the back. It has Hemi on the side. The other side, it has like a modern style rims. It has like a cutout to them, which is pretty cool. The marker lights on the sides are painted, which is pretty cool. That's what it looks like on the bottom. And here's a quick comparison next to a Hot Wheels. 70 Plymouth uh, Cuda. That's what it looks like from the side. Right there. And then on the back. So it was a surprising difference. And I believe this car is going to be released as a Target Chase version as well. There's going to be a chase version. There'll probably be other uh, repaints as well. And is it worth picking up? It's just been released. If you're a fan of the 70 Plymouth Cuda, and I, I think it's well worth picking up, but if you'd like to do customs, it might be a good idea to uh, get this car as well. And that's all I really have to say. If you'd like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and stay tuned for more reviews.